Prior to installation, please check up the number of parts as shown in the packing list. Separate the parts for suspension mechanism and working platform, and then bring them to the corresponding places for installation. Insert the Tommy bar into the front base. Then fix the height of the base according to the height of the parapet. And finally, fix with two M16 by 110 bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Insert the front beam into the front Tommy bar from the front side. And then put the upper column into the square tube on the top of the front Tommy bar. According to application demands, fix the extended distance of the front beam and finally secure with two M16 by 130 bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Insert the middle beam into the back end of the front beam and then secure them together using two M16 by 110 bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Insert the rear beam into the back end of the middle beam and also connect them together with two M16 by 110 bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Insert the back Tommy bar into the back base. Fix the height of the back base according to the height of the front one. Note, after installation, please make sure the height difference of the entire beam is less than 10 centimeters, and only higher front beam is allowed. Fix the back Tommy bar and the back base with two M16 by 110 bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Insert the back beam into the square tube on the top of the back Tommy bar. And then secure with two M16 by 110 bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Be sure to fasten all the bolts and nuts installed in the steps above. Pass the reinforcing wire rope through the rope sheave at the top end of the front beam, and then fix the rope with rope clamps. Thread the lifting wire rope and safety wire rope separately through the rope sheave of the supporting plate. Confirm the length of the ropes according to the maximum working height, and secure them using rope clamps. At least three rope clamps should be utilized. All the clamps should be mounted in the same direction, and the distance between each clamp should not be less than 60 millimeters. U-bolts should be fixed to the open end of the wire rope. Screw up until the rope diameter is minified by one quarter to one third. Loosen the turnbuckle, which is fixed at the top of the back Tommy bar, until it reaches the maximum opening length. Pass the reinforcing wire rope through the rope sheave at the top of the upper column. And then thread the other end through the annular ring of the turnbuckle. Tense the wire rope preliminarily and then fix it with rope clamps. Tighten the turnbuckle to straighten the reinforcing rope, thus eliminating the gap among front, middle, and rear beams. Measure the front end height of the front beam and then turn the turnbuckle to further screw in four to five threads, 
so as to raise the front end of the front beam three to five centimeters up. Install an upper limit block at the top of the safety wire rope and fix it with bolts. Thus far, the preliminary installation for the suspension mechanism is finished. Please move it to the right position according to the construction requirement. Measure the horizontal distance between the lifting points of the two suspension mechanisms. And please be sure the distance is the same or a little longer than the horizontal distance between the two lifting points of the platform. The error should be less than 10 centimeters. Hang the lifting wire rope and safety wire rope slowly down along the wall, during which the operator should stand inside of the parapet and never throw the ropes down directly. If the parapet wall is lower than 1.2 meters, the operator must be equipped with a safety belt to secure safety. Place the counterweight onto the back base by passing it through the exclusive use poles, and the counterweight quantity should not be less than that required in the operation manual. Pass M 8x50 bolts through the holes on the top of the poles, and fasten them using corresponding nuts to secure counterweights in position. Fix the safety rope on a reliable structure on the roof. Note, the safety rope must be secured to an object independent from the suspension mechanism. Choose an even ground for installation, and choose the bottom plates according to the length you want. Place all the bottom plates in a line first. Next, mount the balustrades vertically to the side frame of the bottom plate, and pre-tighten them using bolts and nuts. Then, align the connection joints of all the balustrades, and fix them using bolts and nuts to keep the platform frame straight. Finally, install casters to the end stirrups. And mount one of the end stirrups to the platform. When mounting the end stirrup, please make sure the safety lock supporting plate is facing outside. Move the hoists into the platform, and then mount the other end stirrup. Finally, fasten all the bolts and nuts tightly. Let the side with trademark outwards, and hold the hoist to the installation seat. Then insert the lock shaft and lock it with the lock pin. Finally, Fix the hoist onto the end stirrup with two bolts. You can also power the hoist and pass the wire rope through the hoist. Then press the up button to lift the hoist for installation. Mount the safety lock onto the supporting seat. During the process, Make sure the roll wheel faces inside to press the lifting wire rope. Install the limit switch on the hoist into the safety lock. Install the electrical control box in the middle part of the balustrade and make the control box door face inside. Twist the cable on the middle rail of the balustrade toward the control box. Plug the cables of the power supply, motor, and handle switch into the corresponding sockets at the bottom of the electrical control box. Tie the power supply cable on the balustrade to prevent falling off.
The lifting wire rope should be inserted at the inner side of the lifting point. Pass the wire rope through the roll wheel at the top of the safety lock. And then pass it through the guide hole on the end stirrup, as well as the rope in hole at the top of the hoist, respectively. Turn the universal switch to the side from which you insert the rope, and then press the up button to let the wire rope go through the hoist smoothly and come out from the rope out hole. The safety wire rope should be inserted at the outer side of the lifting point. Lift up the swing arm of the safety lock first so as to loosen the rope clamp inside the lock and insert the safety wire rope into the rope in hole at the top of the safety lock. Then, push the rope by hand to make it come out from the rope out hole at the bottom of the safety lock. Finally, pull it out and tense it. The heavy hammer is used for wire rope tensioning and balancing purposes. During installation, pass the wire rope through a rope clamp first, and then through the middle hole of the heavy hammer. After that, lift the heavy hammer up to five to six centimeters from the ground, and fasten the rope and hammer together by the rope clamp. Install two wall rollers to the platform facing the wall and fasten with bolts and nuts. Turn on the leakage circuit breaker and circuit breaker inside the electrical control box. Then, turn the power on. The green power indication light will be on. Press the start button. The contractor will pull in. Turn the universal switch to the left side. And then press up and down buttons separately. The left side hoist should move up and down correspondingly. Turn the universal switch to the right side and then press up and down buttons one after another. The right side hoist should move up and down correspondingly. Turn the universal switch to the middle and then press up and down buttons consecutively. Simultaneously, both hoists should move up and down correspondingly. Turn the universal switch to the middle. Press the up button to let the platform move upward. And then press the emergency stop button in red color. The motor should stop running immediately. While resetting the emergency stop button, the motor should continue to run. Turn the universal switch to the middle. Press the up button to let the platform move upward. And then press the limit switches on the safety lock. At this moment, the motor should stop running immediately. Then you need to press the start button to restart the platform.